Hey guys, welcome to another lunch review. Today I'm going to try this uh, PJ's Organic Burrito. This is the traditional chicken burrito. It is uh, rolled in a flour tortilla with organic white meat chicken, 115 grams of protein, 7 grams of fiber, 280 calories, which is not horribly bad at all. Here's the nutritional information for you. It's kind of hard to see on this wrapper, but that's when I'm dropping it. There you go. All right, so to microwave this in the oven, um, you can see I got a piece of parchment paper here. So you basically remove it from the plastic wrap, um, wrap it up in a piece of parchment paper, and uh, microwave it. Cook on high for one minute and 30 seconds. Turn the burrito over and cook for another minute and a half or until it reaches the internal temperature of blah, blah, blah. And you can do it in the, oven, in the regular oven too. I'm assuming this is gonna look like just a regular old uh, burrito, just like anything. We bought these at Lucky's Market. Uh, they were $2.50 a piece, so that's not, that's not super bad. So there it is, just a traditional burrito. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I will be right back. All right, here it is out of the microwave. I just took it out of the uh, parchment paper. I wonder if I can, probably can't. I didn't even cut it. Um, in two, but very, um, I love making them in the parchment paper. Um, I think I said that in the last burrito video I made. Um, the parchment paper really uh, keeps it from sticking. Like if you do it on a paper plate, it always sticks to the plate, but it keeps it good and moist, good and soft, and there's tons of filling in there. So, uh, so anyway, I'm gonna probably cut this in a couple more smaller pieces and uh, I'll be back. Okay, it's had time to cool off. So here's the bite. I've cut it in just pieces, hunks of um, bite-sized pieces basically. So here we go. Good and moist burrito, first of all. Um, the parchment paper, I'm telling you, keeps the moisture in. Best way to do burritos. The, um, the tortilla did get a little tough, but not too bad. The um, the chicken flavor is really good. I'm gonna take a bite of just the chicken filling. It tastes like, a, um, like you put taco seasoning in shredded chicken. That's what it kind of tastes like. The beans are really strong. They're the black beans. Black beans can have a really strong, like overriding flavor. And this has that. When you get ones that have the black beans in them right there, they tend to kind of overrule everything else. Pretty good burrito though. I wish they had a little bit more pepper and onion in there. But beyond that, I really don't have a lot to complain about. It's definitely better than your your big bag of, um, of burritos you bought, like Walmart or Kroger or whatever, this is definitely a better quality than that. Um, don't know if the flavor is any stronger, but it's definitely a better quality. It seems like to me it's better quality. So I'm gonna give this one a four. Again, it's it's a it's a burrito. It's got chicken in it, shredded chicken with taco sauces, or seasoning is basically what it is. Um, beans have a really strong flavor, so just know that if you don't like beans. And, um, and it could use just a little bit more pepper in there, but beyond uh, peppers, like green peppers. Beyond that, I really like it. I'm gonna give it a four. If you get these in your area, definitely try them out. I think you'll be happy with them. Um, and use parchment paper, pretty good idea. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.